Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can have multiple types of font in a single line of text in your Squarespace website. We're going to use custom CSS to isolate bold and italicized text so we can change the font style of those individually. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there's some important parts of this code you'll need to change. I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to set this up in Squarespace. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this technique will work for any version. I happen to be using version 7.1, but this works on older versions of Squarespace as well. Here I have an example sentence, and I use the text editor to make a few specific characters bold, and I've also made some italicized. I did that down here in this line as well, and that's what we're going to change to a different font style using custom CSS. To reach our CSS menu, we'll navigate to Website, then select Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. This particular font is a heading 2, and we're going to change these bold characters first. So I'm going to say H2 strong, and then I'll open up a curly bracket. The first thing I want to do is reset the font weight so they're not bold anymore. So I'll say font weight normal. Now they're no longer bold. Then we'll add a semicolon, and let's say font family serif. And now they've changed to a different font. However, that serif font looks a little bit smaller than the other font at this size. So let's go ahead and change the font size as well. I'll say font size 2REM, way too small. How about 3.5? There we go. That looks a lot better. And notice the only characters on the page that changed were the heading two characters that were strong. Now, if you want to isolate a single text block, let's say you've got heading two in multiple places on your website, but this is the only place you want those bold characters to be changed, grab its block ID. I'm clicking on a Chrome extension that I use. I've linked to it in the description below. Not affiliated, just a fan. I'm going to grab this block ID. We'll turn that extension off, and I'll add it here at the very beginning of my code. So it says block, then H2, then strong, and then all the things I want to change about that specific character. Now look what happens if we remove the H2. That's going to change the font style of any bold font inside that specific block. So that's why I recommend trying to use the block ID and the name of the font you're trying to change. In this example, an H2. This right here happens to be a paragraph font. So if we change this to P, you'll notice that is now adjusted. And we'll definitely want to change the font size so it looks more in line with that style. Maybe we'll change it to 2. Perfect. Now, what if you want to change the italicized font instead? For that, instead of the word strong, you can use the two letters EM. That stands for emphasis. And notice that the italicized text in that sentence is now changed. However, it's still italicized. We set the font weight to normal, but it's not bold. So we can remove that and say font style normal, semicolon. This resets the italicized slant. Again, that's font style normal for italic and font weight for bold characters. Once you've made all the changes you want to make, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that I just shared with you along with the link to that free Chrome extension so you can quickly grab the block ID. Again, not affiliated, just a fan. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash email to sign up for my email newsletter. I'll send you tips and tricks on how to make Squarespace uniquely yours. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.